Welcome back to Canva Tips for Authors. Today I'm going to be talking about the Canva Content Planner, which is basically a scheduling tool which is available inside Canva itself. And um, it lets you schedule to, well, I've got Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook set up. I think you can also do Pinterest and a whole load of other things as well. Now, this is a Canva Pro feature. So you need Canva Pro to do it. It's about a hundred pounds a year. And I used to pay about 80 odd pounds a year for a different scheduler. And since I got Canva Pro for other reasons, because I like playing with Canva, I have got rid of my extra scheduler. And um, now I just use this one and whatever's native in each of the different apps. I'm Jeevani Charika, women's fiction and romance author and Canva nerd or Canvasador, in fact. And I'm here to help you authors use Canva better to make your life easier and to help you with your marketing graphics. If you are an author and you want to talk to other authors about how to use Canva, come and join the free and friendly Facebook group. The link is in the description. Right, let's go. Okay, so to find it, once you log in with Canva Pro, you have to go to apps. They keep moving it around. It's really annoying. Anyway, you go to apps and you find content planner, right? And this shows you your calendar. It also shows you like interesting days, opposite day, World Cancer Day, Lunar New Year. So if you have, oh, Cheese Lovers Day. Yeah. Um, if you have something that you can tie into your book and use it for your book promotion, this is quite useful. So if you have a book that has a lot of cheese in it, Cheese Lovers Day is a good day to do some posts. Right. So what I've done here is I had a book coming out on the 11th. And I did a whole load of scheduling, like one week to go. Let's see if I can get last month's. Okay, December 2023. So I was away most of December 2023. So I scheduled everything before I went. So as you can see, I've got, you know, three weeks to go, two weeks to go, one week to go. Uh, I've got some quotes, which I shared the same quote on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Uh, and then yeah, again, little quotes, things like that. I could have done more, but basically I just ran out of steam. Um, but it's quite useful if you've got something coming up and you know the date that it's going to happen, you can schedule towards that date. And like I say, you could have done, uh, I should have done really more Christmas stuff in the run up to Christmas, but there you go. Regrets. So how do you schedule them? Oh, look, Pinterest, I've done a Pinterest one and a Facebook groups one. How do you schedule them? Right, so let's go and find a design. Any design will do. So let's go into projects. Okay, so this is a very simple post. It's, it's just a picture and then I'd put some words into it. So you go to share and more. And schedule. It's got a little crown because it's pro. If you're going to sign up for Canva Pro, there is a link in the description. And if you use that, I get like a quid. So I'd be really grateful. Every quid matters. All right. So I want to schedule this post to go out on, I don't know, tomorrow at 11.45. Okay. Click next. Now, these are all the channels that I have linked already. Twitter, Pinterest, and where has Instagram gone? It's gone again. I had linked it to Instagram and it's decided to unlink it. Okay, so you could link it by going through the little quiz question thing and it would link your Canva to Facebook. All right, so anyway, tomorrow, 11.45, I'm gonna post it on here. So I could write something Knowing me, knowing you, is available to buy now. 
Right, where am I going to post it? Oh, look, there's my Instagram. It's back. So I can post it to one of these channels. I can't post it to all of these channels, which is a little bit annoying. So I'm going to pop it on my Twitter feed because it's a bit of a nothing you post, isn't it? Let's put in a URL as well so that if Always, if you can, put a link to your books because there's nothing worse than going, oh, that book sounds really good. Oh, no, I have to go and look for it. Um, and you can put URLs in Twitter, so do. All right, so schedule it. And it will be, if we go back to the content planner on there, it will be scheduled in. Okay, so if you go to the content planner, now you can see that it's been scheduled, right? If you go back here, it gives you the option to make a copy. So now if you want to schedule the same post to go out, say, every Tuesday for the next four weeks, you have to make a copy for each one. So what I tend to do is, this is at the moment called Untitled Design, and it'll come up, and the new thing will be called Copy of Untitled Design. So I tend to just go whatever the title is, one, two, three, four. And then I have four versions of it. Now with your older, let's go back to the planner. If you go back to your older posts, so let's go back to December again. And if I want to share a post from December, so I don't know, I've got this one, which is which I sent out on the 20th of December. If you click on that, you can see the post, you can see insights, like, oh, you can't see insights. And then you can make a copy of it. And it copies everything, including the text that you put in. And then you can choose your channel that you want to post it in. And you can reschedule it. And it'll post that to wherever it was you wanted it to go. So I've taken an Instagram post and I'm going to post it on one of my Facebook pages. Again, if you wanted to post it on lots of different channels, the same post, you'd have to make a copy and schedule it each time. So it is a bit of a hassle because you have to make so many copies of the things. And it's sometimes a little bit difficult to keep track of how many copies you've got of things, but you could do that. Or you could go back to your original design once it's been scheduled once. If we go back to your original design and edit it, you could just reschedule it that way. Okay, so that's the content planner. It's not perfect, but it is quite useful. And if you're looking for a way to save money by not having lots of different scheduling things that you pay money for, it's a nice way to do it. So that's the content planner that I find it quite useful. I have only just really started using it more consistently and um, I intend to keep going with it. Let me know if you find any interesting tips and tricks if you use the content planner. Like I say, you need Canva Pro. There is a link in the description for you to get Canva Pro and give me a little bit of money. It won't cost you anything extra. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please tell all your friends. And if you are an author and wants to talk to other authors about Canva, come and join the free Facebook group, Canva Tips for Authors. The link is in the description. Thank you for your time.